Have you ever wondered why your iPhone charges so slowly compared to other phones? Why do some Android phones reach 100 watts or even 240 watts, while Apple doesn't? Let's take a look at the evolution of iPhone charging speeds. The answer might surprise you. The first iPhone came with a 5-watt charger, just like the iPods of that time. A full charge would take several hours, but this didn't seem to be a problem, even if you left your phone charging overnight. Apple maintained this charging speed for the iPhone 3G and iPhone 4 series as well. When Apple introduced the lightning port on the iPhone 5 in 2012, you might have expected a major leap in charging speed, but that didn't happen. Even though the new connector was reversible, more compact, and promised a faster digital future, the charging speed remained the same, 5 watts. The same story continued with the iPhone 6 and iPhone 7 series. While they came with a 5-watt charger in the box, they could actually charge faster using an iPad charger or another 12-watt compatible adapter. You could call it unofficial fast charging. In 2017, a major change arrived, but not just anyhow. The technology was there, but the necessary accessories were not included. The iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 supported fast charging of up to 18 watts via USB-C power delivery. With this setup, Apple promised 50% in just 30 minutes. The catch? You had to buy both the USB-C to Lightning cable and the 18-watt charger separately. At the same time, all three models also supported wireless charging at 7.5 watts using the Qi standard. Apple kept this setup for the iPhone 11 as well. However, the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max were the first models to include an 18-watt adapter in the box, finally delivering a fast charging experience straight out of the package. The iPhone 12 marked a major shift in Apple's philosophy. For the first time, the phone no longer came with a power adapter in the box. Instead, users received only a USB-C to lightning cable, which meant they had to purchase a compatible charger separately if they wanted fast charging. Via cable, the iPhone 12 supports fast charging up to 20 watts, delivering 50% battery in around 30 minutes. But the real innovation was the introduction of MagSafe, magnetic wireless charging with up to 15 watts of power, a feature that transformed how we interact with accessories. Apple kept this same setup for the iPhone 13 and iPhone 14 series as well. However, some independent tests revealed that the iPhone 14 Pro Max could reach charging speeds of up to 27 watts, even though Apple doesn't list this figure in the official specifications. Still, after reaching around 50%, the power output automatically drops, a clear choice by Apple to protect battery health and ensure long-term stability. It seems Apple remains loyal to its philosophy, better safe and steady than fast and risky. A major change came in 2023 when all iPhone 15 models switched to USB-C ports. While it seemed like Apple was finally aligning with the rest of the industry, the company maintained strict control over charging speeds. The standard models remain limited to 20 watts, while the Pro versions can reach around 27 watts under ideal conditions. The iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max models can hit speeds of up to 27 to 30 watts during the initial phase of charging, and sometimes even higher, briefly. However, the standard models are still capped at around 20 watts, just like the previous generation. In a world where some Android phones charge at 100 watts or even 240 watts, Apple stays cautious. Why? The answer is simple battery longevity. Apple optimizes charging to keep the battery healthy over time, especially for users who hold onto their phones for three to four years or more. If you enjoyed this breakdown, give us a like and subscribe for more explainer videos.